Hey everyone, today we're going to go through the top must-have add-ons if you are new to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, so let's go. Alright everyone, so the first freeware add-on I'm going to talk about today is the Fly-by-Wire SC20 Neo uh, project. So you can see I have an opening it, links are all in the description. Uh, basically, it uh, has some nice features. Uh, to the default SC20 Neo in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's very simple to install, and I'll definitely say it is a must-have. A patch was, uh, was recently released here. If you had the Japan update, it now functions, as I had a black PFD with it, but now it's all good. So we're gonna go through how to install this. All you gotta do is go to this code bottom, or you can download the folder, but you just go uh, code and download zip. Press that, or download. And once that's all downloaded, I'll show you how to install it into your folder. But as you can see now, the file has finished downloading. And I'm going to go to our file explorer and to our downloads folder. Or wherever you've set uh, your files to download in your browser. We're going to get this folder here, F32NX master. And we're going to extract the content. So you can use 7-zip, uh, WinRAR, Windows Default and Zipper, RE7-zip, or do the same thing. I'm going to extract it in this folder. Extract here, it's gonna unzip right now. Nice textures. And you can see here we have the folder. So we don't have, we don't paste the whole folder into a community folder. All we do, double click it, and bring in the other two and X folder. So this folder here, you simply drag to your community, or you can copy and paste it. Like that. You're gonna copy the items into my community folder. And I already have it installed, so that's why it's gonna replace. See, I already have mine installed over there. Right here it is, everyone. This is the RC20 Neo with the free mod. As you can see, it looks very stunning. Some changes. I think the uh, fuel consumption is uh, edited. You have the like, AP page appears on over here when you get the APU up. So yes, yeah, some nice changes, and I um, hope that you enjoy the addition of this mod. Definitely it helps to enhance your flying experience. Very overlooking plane. Now we're gonna look at the 787 free mod. So onto that. Now it's time for the Boeing 787 Defender Craft mod for Flight Simulator 2020. As you can see, it's open on this page. Link once again in the description. As the FMC pages added doors to help display. It's a very nice mod to have. Same as, same as last time, you wanna go to your code file and download zip. After this download. And it already has. Now, as you can see, the file has downloaded. So back to the same place as before. File Explorer. We're going to extract this folder now. That's all. It's very fast. I'm going to once again double click it. Find the inner folder, B707XE. And copy it into your community folder. And I already have it in, so I'm going to ignore that. And you can see it liveries. There it is. If you want to know how to set up your custom uh, folder for installation like this, uh, you can go to the tutorial. There's a um, link in the card right, up, right on there now. How to uh, install the simulator on your computer in a custom installation process it makes it a lot easier than using the long directories that come default. And here's the Sinet 7 Dreamliner in the simulator with the mod as well. As you can see, it looks very nice as. Uh, Especially with this, um, very, I love the modeling in the simulator. And then let's copy the overhead panel. And this side, it's all set up. So now, it's the Dreamliner with the mod installed. Ready for some uh, flying. Now it's time for the 747 mod. Once again, free and link in the description. So it adds nice features like IRS, a PFD. Once again, we're going to go your code and download zip. Wonderful, download very fast. Push downloading, same again, file explorer, find the folder, go to 747 master and extract it. Wonderful, there it is. And this one, there's no inner folder, so you want to extract the entire thing to your community folder. And I already have it installed as usual, <laughs> as you've seen. So, 
as easy as that to get your 747 mod in. And we go in the 747 with the mod. As you can see, it looks very nice. Cockpit, nicely modeled. So now you can have some fun flying the 747 with a few added extra features. Now onto our next add-on. I really gotta say, this is one of the, for me, the must-have. The Sydney Humber Bridge has a default, um, it doesn't actually, it hasn't been modeled in the simulator. So I really appreciate this uh, effort to get the Humber Bridge, the Sydney Humber Bridge, into the simulator. <laughs> really loves it. And I, I even showcased it in my Ride in the World video. So, head on down on this one. You can see as that's default and you want to go to your download via Mega, like this. Go to NZ. And simply download. Download the file now from Mega. Then we'll download it onto our computer. There it is, download it on our computer. Same as usual. File Explorer. Update our downloads. Have a bridge. Extract here. There it is. And this directly goes to your community folder. As well as I have it already in. As there's no in the folder to uh, copy over. Okay, now you can enjoy the Harbour Bridge in your simulator. <laughs> and here's what the Sydney Harbour looks like with the Sydney Harbour Bridge mod. I gotta say, it doesn't load in until you're quite close to it, but when it does, doesn't look absolutely amazing instead of having some road there. But the cars do seem to drive on the water, so that's part of the you know the issue there. But in a way, it looks amazing and I highly recommend it. But anyway, this is the last add-on for the video. So you just the uh liveries mega pack. Great to have it all as a, a ton of liveries to a wide variety of aircraft. Very easy to download. Download the mega pack eight. It's not some images of it there. Put it up there. Simply just start downloading from Mediafire. And all you do, it will open with the aircraft you want. And simply drag your aircraft folders in, like I have done here. See, I have liveries, XCARB, F20. So you, you'll get um, track, it'll be like this. And drag these folders into your livery folder. If you do want a detailed tutorial of livery downloads, uh, please let me know in the comments below and I'll happily make one. But it's pretty straightforward, I think. And here's an example of one of the liveries from the Livery Mega Pack, which you have just downloaded. Lovely livery, look very nice, and you have a whole range of many different aircraft. Now, to get your 7 livery, which I don't believe I included at the time of recording in this pack, I'll put a link in the description for those liveries too, the 7 7 liveries. And that will bring this video to an end. Hope you all enjoyed it and you uh, found it useful and some great add-ons for you, the simulator. Hope you have a great time in it and I hope to see you soon uh, for another video. See you next time.